and welcome to Sustainable Family Home. My name is Mia Swainson. And today we're doing Worm Farms! And this is my son, Tasman Swainson. Thank you so much for joining us. When Canberra schools decided to go pupil free, I decided to use the time to learn about living more sustainably with my children at home. And so, as Tasman said, it's Worm Farms today. Very exciting. So we've got our worm farm just behind us here. Um, why do we have a worm farm? What do they do? Squiggle, squiggle, eats disgusting stuff. Oh, that's right. They squiggle and they eat disgusting stuff. Yep. So it hasn't, they eat stuff and they eat stuff. And that means that we can, instead of putting our scraps in the bin, we give them to our worms. Now in our house, we share our scraps because we But um, these are the scraps that we give the worms. The worms only like a certain type of scrap. So what have we got in here? What can, what's in that bucket? We have puzzle tops. We have tea. Oh, I think that's tea. I don't think that's a persimmon top. I think that's just some tea. Yeah. Tea, and we also have some coffee. Yeah. So tea bags, as long as they're made of sort of paper and coffee grounds, are perfect for worms because they really like their food moist. Oh, don't do that. They like it moist and they like it um, soft. So they don't like big bits of food. So do you want to have a look? This is what we give our chickens. Let's have a look in this bucket here. It's our chicken bucket. All right, so disgusting. it is pretty disgusting. That's in Tasman's words. So we've got, we could have given the lettuce to the worms, couldn't we? Mm -hmm. But we couldn't give the worms, the things that you've got to leave out are the citrus, and which you've got some citrus in here, some onion or garlic, and then also meat and dairy are no good for worm farms. So worm farms really are fruit and veggies. Oh, I'm gonna get you to feed the worms, Taz, before you go out there. So the sort of scraps you give them from your kitchen are veggies and fruit that are being chopped up because those tiny little mouths, they don't fit around big broccoli stalks. They like it all small and they like it wet and moist. So Tasman, you've got a balloon there. How come you've got a balloon? What's special? Because I went to the dentist today and got my tooth filled in. Oh, he sure did. He was very brave, weren't you? Now, uh, let's have a look in here. So we're going instead of, to, instead of um, feeding you, we're going to feed these worms. So the top layer of our worm farm, actually, you probably can't see it on camera, but it's actually not working so well because it's a bit too dry. So we've let it dry out and it's got a bit mouldy, yeah? So this layer actually we're not using at the moment because to make a worm farm work nicely, it's got to be moist. So I'll show you the next layer, which is actually working. All right. So let's see. Ugh. Why did someone just fart? Oh, did someone really fart? What was that? My boy. <laughs> Now, Tasman, can you see if there's any worms here? Can you see any worms? Yeah. Where are they? Here and, and here. Yeah, so when you're putting, so this is not at optimum health because you can see there's a, um, there's a bit of fungi in the worm farm, but it is still working. So we'll grab that, these scraps here. And what we do is we lift up the newspaper and can you pour that in? Yeah. Oh, good job. Yeah. And I'll put that newspaper back there because the worms really need it to be nice and moist. So that wet newspaper on top of the food scraps in our worm farm is what we use to keep it nice and moist. But other people use other things like um see so do you want to say goodbye taz or are you coming back goodbye goodbye so um other people might use um a special bedding 
or mat that goes on top. And then underneath here, um, but you, yeah, the key is to have something on top that keeps it nice and moist in your worm farm. Oh, now here's the next layer down in our worm farm. And this is the soil. And it's just beautiful and loose worm soil or their worm casings. And we use that in our garden, so with our veggies. So when we're preparing the veggie bed, I'll put in, often put in manure and I'll clean out this, these worm casings here. See if there's any worms under here. Yeah, there's a few, not heaps, because they're all up a bit higher up, eating up in the other layer. All right. Oh. Oh. So I've got another layer of soil means I clearly need to um, need to get in there. I mean, can you come back and have a smell of this, darling? Come and tell us what it smells like. Oh, I don't think, I don't know if he's going to come back. But what I've got here, come and have a smell. It's wormweed. It is wormweed. Did you? I don't know if you heard him say wormweed, but it is, it's wormweed. And this is perfect for our garden. So we scoop, we'll need, it actually needs a bit of a clean out. We'll need to scoop it out and I'll probably put it on the broccoli that we planted yesterday, just around the bottom of the broccoli. Diluted, of course, it's pretty strong. So I dilute it at least at one is to two, but probably ideally one is to five. I'm not sure what's professionally done, but that's, I guess it depends on your home worm farm and how much rain um, or water has sort of seeped through but it definitely needs diluting before you put it on your plants yeah so i think that's about all for worm farming um the main so in terms of troubleshooting key two key things that can go wrong with worm farms are that it's not kept moist enough which is why you've got to have that layer of um, wet newspaper or a specific bedding um, thing that you put on top you can buy them in the shops um, and the other is just putting the wrong things into your worm farm. So definitely want to leave out um, citrus, onion and dairy. Some people do say they can get away with a little bit. It's about the pH of the worm farm. So just a little bit of onion is probably okay. But look, I've managed to kill a whole worm colony before. So I'm, I'm not going there again. I'm going to, I'm leaving my onion out and you can compost your onion and citrus um, just fine. So um, yeah, I think I'll leave it about there. Is there any questions? Zoe, do you want to help people to ask questions? Oh, Leah, oh yeah. I was ask you, does the, the um, worm farm smell bad and does it attract flies? It doesn't smell bad. So the, the, um, the bottom layer does, it has a, I mean, a slight smell. Yep. Um, but it shouldn't smell. So you should be able to have it, you know, relatively close to your house. So actually that is one of the other things that can go wrong is if it's too hot or too cold, the worms like a, an even temperature, particularly camber in the winter time. So yeah. if you keep it up against your house um, and make sure it's not, doesn't get too hot in the summertime as well. Um, the house is a really nice um, moderator of its temperature. So um, no, it doesn't, shouldn't smell. Um, when it's working properly and we don't have trouble with flies. You've got to keep the lid on, but um, yeah. Thanks. No worries. Thanks. Any other questions? <laughs> All right. How much do you pay the small boy? How much do you pay the small boys working in the garden? <laughs> <laughs> how much do I pay my children for working in the garden? That's a good question. <laughs> I think we should, it's lucky they're not here to hear you ask that question. <laughs> they get paid for um, exercising <laughs> rather than and doing their schoolwork <laughs> rather than um, working in the garden, sadly. All right. Okay. That was a short one today. Short but sweet. That's just fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, and I should say that if you ever have any questions about worm farming, you can contact the Canberra Environment Centre and ask them because we love talking about it. Yeah, and what's the best way to contact the Canberra Environment Centre? Um, you can email us and you can find the link through our webpage. That's probably the best way right now because we're not in the office so we can't answer the phone. Yeah. So Beautiful. send us an email.
Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thanks All so right. much, Zoe. And thanks everyone. Thanks, thanks everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs>